Hi there, it's Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today is March 5th, so that means it's time for DT5 and a snack. So if you are new, this is an open collab where you can share five items from the Dollar Tree and one snack item. So everyone is welcome to join this collab. Um, you don't have to do a large Dollar Tree haul. Just share five items that you pick up from the Dollar Tree and one snack item. And it is fun if you can taste the snack in your video and give us a review. If you like it, if you'd buy it again, um, if you'd pass on it next time, if it's a repeat purchase for you. Um, just so we can see what's out there in all the Dollar Trees and uh, get an idea of um, what are some great snacks that you can find at the Dollar Tree. So let's get into it. I'm going to share the five items that I picked up for this month, and you'll see an Easter theme happening here um, because, you know, Easter's right around the corner. So let's get into it, and I'll share what I found at my Dollar Tree. Okay, so for my items this month, you're going to see, obviously, an Easter theme, and I'm going to start out with the cutest ornaments. They're Color Your Own Ornament. It's an eight-piece set of these little bunny heinies. <laughs> I think they're so cute. Um, and you get eight in this packet. They're sort of that, um, you know, pressed wood. They do have the little raffia twine that you can hang them on an Easter tree if you decide to do that. Or what I will probably do is paint them up and just use them as embellishments. Um, I think it might be fun to add a little cottontail right there. Um, but I just thought they were adorable. First time seeing these in my Dollar Tree. Um, let me know if you've found them in yours or if um, you even saw them last year. You know, sometimes my Dollar Tree doesn't always get um, the latest and greatest. Um, and so these might have been out last year and I just missed them. But I'm happy that I found them this year because I think they're adorable. The next item is the Wood Bead Jute Garland, and um, this is adorable. Now, I know that they come out with these for different holidays, but this is actually the first time I've seen the little Easter one. This was the only one at my Dollar Tree. I guess they were pretty popular. It has a little wooden bunny here in pink on the end. Um, some pink gigam ribbon and here you can see the jute and these beads are all little wooden beads so I know that um, other crafters do things with the wooden beads um, that come in these little garlands I'm probably going to just use this as Easter decor just as it is because I love the pink and blue um, and I love this this pretty ribbon here so I will probably just um, display this either on my little Easter tier tray or in with um, an Easter basket. I think it's so cute. I'm sorry that there was only one because I might have gotten more than one. Um, I just think it's really, really sweet. So, um, And it's actually quite long too. I would say probably maybe 20 inches long. Um, that's just an estimate, but it's really... Um, you know, a good length, and um, it might be even fun to use this in an Easter wreath, maybe wrap a wreath with these beads. I just think that there's so many things you can do with it, um, and even just use it as garland. So I picked this one up. Now, the next item is not necessarily Easter related, although I might put some Easter beads in these. But I primarily got this little plastic organizer because it comes with a pop-up lid. Um, and I took the tape off so I could show you the inside. So the lid just sits on the top like that. It doesn't snap on, but it does, it does seal on nicely. You can see I'm shaking it with the lid on and it's not coming off. I like that. Um, I was thinking about using this for either embossing powder or glitter. Uh, I have a couple of glitter containers that, you know, the lids are a little bit tricky on, and I thought this might be nice for glitter storage or embossing powder, although um, you can use these for beads or embellishments, and that would be fun too. It's just nice size. 
it measures eight by three by two, um, and it has the three compartments. So I really like that. Um, and it says that it's durable. I think it is, and I like that the lid just sits on top but doesn't come off if it falls over in your craft room. So I picked this one up. Now back to Easter, I found these very cute bunny pink Easter eggs. And you get three eggs. They're a really good size. And they even have little feet and ears, little bunny face and paws. I think they're adorable. My first time seeing these. I'm going to open this package up so we can look at them outside the plastic, but you do get three. Okay, so here are these little guys out of the package, and they're even cuter out of the package. Um, they're just adorable. Look at that. Um, it is like a clear pink, um, and they stand up, which I love. They're fun Easter eggs. That would be great, too add jelly beans to or add um, maybe little charms or flatbacks or a sequin mix if you're going to send it to a crafty friend. They would be super cute on a um, tiered tray with um, little faux um, Easter eggs inside. Um, it's great for jelly beans, robin eggs, which are my favorites. I just think these are so cute. Um, I'm so happy that I found them. I think they're really adorable, and I'm very excited to display with them this Easter. Okay, and the last item that I picked up for this month is the collapsible basket. So this is, again, the first time I'm seeing this in my Dollar Tree. It is 12 inches by 7.9 inches by 6.3 inches. And it is um, obviously the white one. I'm going to take it out of the plastic here, put it together, and we'll take a look at the size. Okay, so here's what the basket looks like outside of the plastic. And you just lift it up just like this. Push the sides down, and there is the little basket. It has handles that you can see here. I know it's hard to get this all in one frame, and then to collapse it down, you just push the sides in and it folds flat. So it's perfect for cleaning products. If you're going from room to room, maybe in cleaning your baseboards or your window sills, and you wanna put your cleaning products in here and just carry it around from room to room, um, it's perfect to have as a little car caddy and maybe keep um, a microfiber cloth or some napkins in your car, um, anything like that, or even for crafting products. If you like to craft in a different room, you can put this together, fill it up with your craft products, and then just take it outside by the pool or... Um, you know, in any other room that you want to craft in. I love this idea. For $1.25, I think it's very handy. Um, I love that it folds flat so you can tuck it away if you're not using it as a basket. Um, but if you are, as a matter of fact, wouldn't it make an adorable um, Easter basket? This could be decorated up for an Easter basket with some of that faux grass and some eggs and maybe a stuffed bunny or chick. Um, yeah, it would be an adorable little gift basket as well. So this is my last item. Now let's get into the snack. Okay, so for my snack this month, I found the TGI Fridays Crinkle Fries Corn Snacks, and they're in chili cheese. So I have never seen these before. I've never seen them in the grocery store, and I've never seen them in the Dollar Tree. So I was very intrigued. You get 3.5 ounces in this bag, and that's quite a lot. Um, you get 3.5 servings. So a serving is one ounce, and that is about 20 fries, and that's 130 calories. So here is the nutritional information. And it says here, TGI Friday's Crinkle Fries deliver a great flavor combination of chili and cheese. These thick cut crinkle fries will delight your senses and have you reaching for more. In here, it's always Friday. So that is the information on the package. Let's break this open and take a look at these 
crinkle fries. Here we go. I cut open the package and I could smell the chili cheese right away. This is what they look like. I still have quite a lot left in the bag. About that much. So, these are very interesting. They kind of, um, they feel like Cheetos, only they're long and they're kind of puffed up. Um, I think they're supposed to simulate a fry. I don't know if I get that completely, but um, they're well seasoned because you can really smell the seasoning. Let me give it a try. Wow, there is a lot of flavor in these. A lot of flavor. Um, I get the um, chili cheese right away. I get the taste of chili, which I've never tasted that in a um, snack. Um, I'm not gonna say chip, it's more like a crunch. They're very crunchy. They almost look like chicken nuggets, don't they? Um, they're quite large. There it is in the palm of my hand. Um, and it really is a chili flavor. It is a chili cheese flavor, very flavorful. They're very crunchy. They taste fresh. They're not that like soft bite when you, if you have a Cheeto or something that's not fresh, you know it. Um, that's not what at all what these taste like. They're very crunchy. They're very flavorful. If you like chili cheese, I would think that you would like these. Um, and yeah, I give them a thumbs up. Um, I've never had anything like them. I don't think you can eat a lot um, which is kind of good, um, but they would be, they would be fun as like a party snack, I think. Um, I would get these again. I would get these and share them with someone. Um, they're really good and not like anything I've ever had before. So that's my snack for this week. It's the TGI Fridays Crinkle Fries Corn Snacks in Chili Cheese. I don't know if they have other flavors, um, I can't remember when I picked these up if they had other flavors, um, but I might look the next time I'm in Dollar Tree. So that is what I'm sharing for this month's DT5 and a Snack. I hope you enjoy taking a look. Remember, this is an open collab. Everyone is welcome to join in. Just share five items that you pick up from your Dollar Tree and one snack item. Use the hashtag DT5 and a Snack, and be sure to tag me so I can come by and say hello. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time.